I am you too. I am unlike other anti-humans with powerful quirks. This is my story. A team of scientists, Deku included, work together to create the most world's most powerful anti-human, discovered by a fossilized remnant of Mew from another universe, and from it created me. Soon, Toka, who had ordered my creation, trained me to control my abilities. But I soon realized that I was her personal property. I was not born anti-human, I was created. And my creators have used and betrayed me. So I stand alone. After destroying her laboratory, I created my own. And was plotting to destroy the superhuman society. Until she came along. She, Momo Yayurosu, cried out, convinced me to take to not take over the world. His her selfless actions puzzled me. She was a human with powerful quirks, whether born or created. My plans were seized. Finally, my eyes had been opened, as had my heart. Momo and I were teleported somewhere that we could be safe and live in peace. Now I am forgotten by all but the one who created me. The one who desires to control me still burns. This place is beautiful. But what right have I to judge? I am not like other beings with quirks. I'm a clone, copy, product of science. I am an outcast. So as long as you're with me, Momo, we must live as outcast if we are to live at all. We shall stay here, far from the world, far from man. It is our only hope, for if we do not live in secret, we shall never live in peace. Chaco Uraka. We have a missing student named Momo Yayozu. I need you and the other girls to find Momo at any means necessary. Do you understand? Good. Now, bring her back to us. You are wondering why I saved these humans? If they were crashed into our homeland, we would be discovered. Do you also believe I have feelings for these humans? Except for Momo? Oh. You mean everyone besides Momo? Well, 
we will remain here if we can. Those humans again. Are we not able to live in peace? I'm sorry, but we must move far away from this land. You're saying we are trouble. By who? Toga. I'll deal with her. You must get out of here. Go to your friends until I'm done with her. I only, I only want what's best for both of us. Now let me go. Leave the young ones out of this. Hmm. I accept your challenge. I'll meet you back at the island. Hmm. What is this little bee? An animal. A Pikachu, no doubt. Has this universe been crossed over? Or is it something more? There's more of them. You're all willing to help me, even though I'm not from your universes. Then we have no time to lose. You Pokemon better protect Momo. Friends, to the island. You are despicable. How do you know my name? Stop these machines. Then I must use what is remain of my power. Either these machines will be destroyed, or I will be. Mewtwo. He's not our Mewtwo, Ash. Deku, you want to help me help this view too? Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Ash, the other heroes and I will take care of these guys. You and Deku get Mewtwo to the spring. Why? Why are you helping me? Because it's the right thing to do. They're like one of a kind. <laughs> I wish I knew that sooner. But soon, it wouldn't matter. I'm sorry, Professor, but right now, 
the most important thing that needs that one of the most is Mewtwo. I've seen this place before. Was it in a dream? It feels so familiar. Mew? If those heroes have the power to save the world, just as Momo said they do, I will only help the heroes by any means necessary, no matter what the goals are. She's here. Leave this place at once. It does not belong to you any more than I do. Now I shall use all my strength to defend it. I have moved the spring and its waters to a sacred hideout. No one will be able to find us here now. Wait till I call Professor Oak and tell him about this. You will tell no one, neither of you. Once you leave this place, you must leave behind your memories of me and all you have seen here. Yeah, Meowth's right. No one should forget about who they are and where they came from. Yes, they deserve to remember. If we are able to look to the past about the good memories, Perhaps we should look forward to the future. For any hero, I will clear only the memories of the ones who would do any harm to any hero or the spring. Only they shall forget. The time has come for us to depart. Thank you, heroes. I will remember you always. This time we both will. You remind me a lot like Momo when I first met her. Me not actually go. Fine then. If you girls care about Momo, you can visit me anytime, in any place, or universe. As for the rest of you, if someday you hear my voice, know that it is my spirit calling across time and space to yours. I will remember you always. What's wrong, Bedoya? He's saying that he thought that he heard Mewtwo talking. Well, it, maybe it could be Kirishima. Or for us, maybe it's just our memory. Even though our heroes saved the world, both the worlds, they still have a lot of challenges ahead. Our friends continue on their journey, but in a faraway city, stories are told of a mysterious anti-human with quirks who roams freely with his friends. 
who roams freely, but always by moonlight. <laughs>